guys, on a little boondocking adventure today in the National Forest here in Wisconsin. And in case you're wondering what the hell boondocking is, it's basically dispersed camping, primitive camping, no facilities, no amenities, no firing, no picnic table, none of that. So basically just roughing it. Uh, got a beautiful view, river in the backyard, got Buddy with me, and uh, a bit of adventure getting in here. We had some wicked storms last night, so we had a tree downed in the middle of the road, some washed out areas, but we're here now. We're gonna enjoy it. The weather looks good for the remainder of our trip. Hey, we're good. Yeah, look at that. That's what I like to see. Nothing but blue sky is coming our way. So here's the view I got. Yeah, can't argue with that. Looking good. Brought my fishing pole. See how the fishing is. I have been here before. All I've ever caught in here was bass, which is fine. I actually prefer bass fishing. Fall colors ain't exactly what I'd hoped they'd be, but that's okay. If you're not familiar with the history of the Acorn Travel Trailer. It's built by Evelyn's Incorporated out of Minnesota. That's the same makers as Scamp. So this is a 1979. Uh, in that year they were sued for the rights to the name of Scamp. So they had to change the name just for that one year, part of 1980 or 1978 and, and 1979. It was the only year they produced it. I emailed the owners and uh, their factory burnt down. There's not much information left on them other than there was only a little over 100 built. So you're pretty lucky if you own one of these gems. If you do own one, I'd like to hear it. Let me know where, where in the world you are with it because I haven't seen many. Just curious. So I've just been out collecting rocks for my fire ring. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. Man, once that sky cleared, the humidity dropped. It's just perfect right now. Other than these friggin' gnats, no seums, whatever the hell they are. I'm gonna start a little branch fire smoke moat real quick. So I got some branches. I'm gonna get this thing, a little fire going here, smoke out these bugs. This is some fat wood. Really good stuff. Good, excellent fire starter. You can see the pine resin in there. I'll give you a tour inside the old acorn here. As soon as you walk in, you got the couch here. This turns into a bunk bed. Uh, storage underneath here in the middle. That end, I got electrical 
shoes and stuff. You got your kitchenette here. Uh, we got storage down here for pots and pans. We got, uh, trash here. Cleaning supplies with breaker boxes under there. And up here, you can, we got our dishes stored. Got the bed down now, but that turns into a table. Some storage underneath there. I put my uh, chairs under there. I like that view though, huh? Headlamp on the hook up here. In the closet here, I put some shelving. I don't have much in here right now, but I got some board games down there, you know, toiletries, kitchen stuff. But I built it with these cedar closet liners and I made it so that you can take them out if you want it. There's a hanger up here. So if you want to hang clothes, you still have room between the shelving and that. Up there is a blanket storage, got the vent here. A um, few things I've changed since I did the uh, remodel. Um, and if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it up in the corner there. Card you can click on, but uh, I put that backsplash on there. I changed that. Ripped the carpet out of here. Went with the wood laminate wood flooring. I got my 12 volt power there. Just tell me the battery's got half life, I guess. So there's how it used to look. I put the new wheels on there. This is my old dog Maggie. She was a good camping dog. She loved camp. Uh, I'm going to change. Uh, I got some LED lights. I'm going to change those out. Those are uh, kind of energy hogs. So I got. I already got them. I just haven't changed them yet. This carpet here, I always bring. It's indoor outdoor carpet. It's folding in half right now. What did you do? Come here. Hey, come. Sit. Look at you. You got big mess. You got pickers all over you, Buster. What'd you do? Need the pliers for this one. And I didn't bring them. So my beverage of choice this trip, got a little bent paddle, cold pressed black. One of my favorite craft beers. Coffee flavored beer, you gotta love it. And it's a local one, made in Duluth, Minnesota. Buddy. Buddy.
I'm just enjoying the evening by the fire here. Got a ripid fire going. Tell you what, you can't beat fall camping. Nice, crisp, cool evening. Feels good by this fire though. If I'm lucky, I'll see the northern lights tonight. Hear that? I don't know if the camera's picking up or not, but coyotes. Pretty active tonight. Time to get some coffee on. Man, it is cold this morning. Sun's starting to break through the fog though. Looks pretty cool right now actually. I'll show you that. Good morning guys, sun's just starting to break through the fog now, fire's feeling good, it got cold last night, it got down to about 40. Enjoying my coffee and I'm going to cook up some eggs, sausage, corned beef hash, I got all day long. I'd say another night but it's supposed to be severe thunderstorms tonight. I'm going to enjoy the time while I can, maybe do a little fishing later on. Here's a nice little camping hack for you. I just put my eggs in a Gatorade bottle. Probably added a little too much milk, but we'll see how it turns out. And I don't care, I'm gonna pour right in there. Egg goulash. Okay, it's just about done. Now I'm just gonna Chop up all these sausage. Mix everything all together. Don't knock it, it's pretty good. Buddy's gonna like it, looks just like his dog food. <laughs> plate for me, plate for Buddy. Kind of like that plate, huh? Pretty groovy. <laughs>
Oh, it didn't take long for the fog to burn off. Beautiful morning. This thing's like fiberglass, so it's under a thousand pounds. Last I checked, I was right around 900 pounds with it. So I, that's when I built the remodeled thing. I gutted it out, all the cabinetry, everything. Um, it's all lightweight. It's just veneer, you know. And I didn't expect it to last this long either. But I knew if I had to replace it, it wouldn't be expensive. It wouldn't be a tough job. So I, I took the fridge out of there. Stove still in there. Um, the ice box is just storage. And because it's under a thousand pounds, the state of Wisconsin doesn't require you to register it. So I think that's pretty cool. I just wanted to keep it light, be able to get to some of these places off the grid and be able to enjoy this, you know. I think I'm going to try to get up above the rapids there where it's flat water. Might, might have some better luck up that way. Try to make my way over there. Somehow. So I'm just upstream from the uh, rapids there. I'm going to try working the flat water here see if I have some better luck. so clear I could see right out there. Not much structure, it's pretty much sand other than the weeds that are right here. Not happening here. Nothing here either. At least I didn't get skunked. I got that small small mode pass yesterday. Nothing to break about though. So I want to talk about something I've been thinking about a lot. Uh, I heard news the other day, some sad news. A former YouTuber had passed away. And uh, his name is Roger. You might know his channel, it's Our Love for Outdoors. I, uh, his family just recently put out a tribute video letting his subscribers know the news. It was just shocking because just a few days ago, before that video, he put out a different video and he was happier than I'd seen him in a while. He was optimistic because he was finishing one stage, the hardest stage of his chemotherapy. And he was in good spirits. And it was just shocking to see his family and just sad because he was a great guy. Great videos. He's, he's local. He, lives just a few miles from me. I didn't know him personally. I just, um, within the last year or two, started commenting in, um, through YouTube and talking to him through there. I sent him a message just a couple months ago asking if he wanted to join us on a canoeing trip. So I was looking forward to getting to know him a little better, but such a great guy. I feel so bad for his family. He was way too young. but. This here, this is a place I know he liked to come. I see he's posted videos canoeing on this river before. So I just kind of want to, I don't know, dedicate this video to Roger. <laughs> 